Welcome back to another exciting experiment at Artificially Inked. In this video, we'll be diving into Trellis, a cutting edge 3D modeling tool powered by AI. Today, we'll explore how to generate 3D characters, rig and animate them, and finally bring them to life in our game engine. Landing on the Trellis homepage, we find familiar features common to many AI-powered 3D tools we've reviewed on this channel, such as text to 3D and image to 3D capabilities. However, Trellis introduces some standout features that take creativity a step further. One of these is asset variants, which allows you to apply a text prompt to an existing mesh, creating variations in its look. This is likely achieved through texture generation. This is a more efficient and polished approach compared to a method we experimented with in an earlier project. Another unique tool is local manipulation, which enables users to edit a mesh by adding or removing sections using a text prompt. This opens up exciting possibilities for customizing assets. For today's experiment, we'll focus on the Hugging Face demo available directly from the Trellis homepage. A single click on the icon takes us straight to the demo interface. The demo scene greets us with a user-friendly layout, a prompt box for uploading an image, a live preview window, and generation settings below for customization. At the bottom, we see sample images to test the tool. Let's start by selecting one of these samples to demonstrate the workflow. Clicking on an image autofills the prompt field. From there, it's as simple as hitting generate and in moments, Trellis produces a detailed 3D preview complete with mesh and textures. That's impressive for just a single click. Now let's take it further by generating a 3D model of our own. Following the same straightforward steps, we upload an image, generate the mesh, and download the resulting GLB file. Before moving forward, we'll convert the GLB to an FBX file, a format more suitable for rigging. For this, I will be using Blender. With the correct file format in hand, we head to Actor Core to give our model a skeleton. Simply drag and drop the model, adjust the orientation, and begin the rigging process. Actor Core automatically calculates joint positions, though some minor adjustments may be necessary. To test the setup, we can preview animations. If everything looks good, we'll export the rig model and prepare it for animations. For animations, we turn to Mixamo, an excellent library of free motion captures. Upload the rigged model, and Mixamo's system detects the skeleton automatically. From here, browse the library, select an animation, and download it for use in the game engine. With our 3D model now fully textured, rigged, and animated, it's time for the final step, bringing it all together in the game engine. Our first stop is Unity. To set up the model and animations in Unity, start by importing the FBX files for both the character model animations into Unity's assets folder. Once imported, select both the character model and animation files in the project window and navigate to the rig tab in the inspector. For both the animation and the character, set the animation type to humanoid to ensure compatibility and click apply. Next, drag the animation directly onto the character model in the scene view or the animator component in the inspector. Unity will automatically create and assign an animator controller to the character. Finally, hit play to test the animation and ensure it's working correctly with the humanoid rig. Next, we will move over to Unreal Engine to copy this process. To set up our model and animations in Unreal Engine, we'll start by importing the character. Begin by dragging the rigged character model into the content drawer. This will open an import window. Ensure that skeletal mesh is selected. Click import and the character along with its skeleton will be added to your project. Unreal Engine will automatically assign the material, but you may need to replace it with your own texture. With the character successfully imported, it's time to bring in the animation. Drag the animation file into the content drawer to open the import window. Since this is the only character in the scene, Unreal should automatically select the character's skeletal mesh. Click Import, and the animation will be added to your project folder. To use it, simply drag the animation file into the scene. Now press play, and your character and animation should be ready to go. And there you have it, one-click 3D models generated from a single image, automatic character rigging, effortless animations, and seamless drag and drop integration into your favorite game engine. 3D game design and animation have never been simpler. If you enjoyed this content and want to discover more tools and workflows, don't forget to smash that like button, 
While you're at it, be sure to subscribe to stay updated with our latest and greatest tutorials. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Happy creating!